Hey my lovelies, it's Imogen AK and it's not insane. Welcome to my video. So I have one of these planners. I got this particular one from AliExpress and I wanted to do kind of a little review thing on it uh, just prior to me actually uh, basically demolishing it. So first of all, I ordered mine in the sky blue which looks like this really awesome teal colour and I'm actually really pleased for the colour it actually is. It does look really teal and not some other misphotographed or misrepresented colour. So I'm really pleased at that. It does come with this brown um, supposedly leather. This is supposedly leather. None of it really smells like leather. Um, cording. And basically this particular one has this what looks like a ship's wheel. It also has this engraved anchor, does uh, compass even, this engraved compass design. Um, you could pay an additional pound and get up to 24 letters across here, but at the time I didn't know if I was gonna be cutting this down. I've now decided I'm not gonna be cutting this down and I kind of wish that I had got it engraved um, with my name, but that's just one of them things. Um, the spine looks like this, which is very pretty. It has two rivets holding the six ring binder in place. And then it also has this bookmark with an anchor on it. So the back is just plain. And when you open it up, this one thankfully doesn't have all the slots and cuts that some of them I have seen have on this here side and then inside it is just plain and then it comes with a whole bunch of craft paper that is pre-punched in the six ring holes. Now I plan to turn this into a traveller's notebook style book so I plan to remove these rings um, and it's going to be kind of traveller's notebook meets a sketchbook diary journal who knows what it will become. Um, I don't know what that is there, but it came off pretty easily. Um, I'm hoping the marks where the rings were will wear out eventually. And obviously I'm going to be undoing this brown and I'm going to be adding black elastic to this. Um, I'm going to be changing up this central piece and I have purchased these charms which say not all who wander are lost which I figured went really well with the kind of compass design and then I'm also going to be adding an elastic closure to here I'm going to be turning this into a hole for charms I'm going to be stringing elastic through here so I'm going to be adding an additional hole there and all being well I'm going to re-add the eyelets um, there'll be nothing inside just that it'll be covering up like two gigantic ugly holes so if I do this correctly it's either going to work out one or two ways I'll be able to use something like these to um, hit them from the inside and hopefully separate the two pieces so that I can take them apart failing that turn you around I have a bench drill so we will just drill them out and I have seen many a tutorial of people removing these six rings um, by drilling down into here. Obviously, if you don't have these on the outside, you want to be careful that you don't drill through into the outside of your planner. Unless that's the desired effect that you are going for. So, I am going to take this to the floor because I don't want to mash up my desk and try hitting it and see what happens. So I'm going to start out with the yellow one which is the thinnest one and see how we get on. I don't know why I'm doing this left handed.
Okay, so I'm gonna grab these pliers which have a bit of grip on them. And I'm gonna try and, I don't know how well you can see this, but I'm gonna try and sort of squeeze that top bit together so that, she said, so that this metal bit can come over like this. And I'm gonna push it through the other side So that's one out. It does have a bit of a lip, but we haven't mashed up our cover too much. So I'm gonna repeat the same mangling process. So that's now both of them out of there. We haven't really ripped the leather or pleather and we can easily cover these two with some more eyelets, uh, sorry, rivets, and I'm just literally going to smush the rivets in and out in a rivet setter. So the next part of this, of course, will be to remove this brown threading, which I'm going to do back over on my desk. I'm super pleased with how this turned out. You can now get sort of a better look. Um, it looks slightly ripped on the inside here, but that's not going to be a big deal. I'll put um, a spot of super glue on it when I come to actually um, putting the rivets in. Wait, I'm going to see if I can undo this first. And then if I can't, I will take scissors to it. Because if I can keep this for a different project, then that'll be great. Likewise, that uh, the six ring thing, I didn't bend it at all, so I will be able to reuse it in another project if I so wish, just by adding eyelets. I keep calling them eyelets, they're not eyelets, they're rivets. Just by adding rivets to it. So there's our bookmarky piece. I am going to repurpose the charm into my stash and then just keep the questionably leather thong. I think this might actually be a leather thong. I don't know how leather the book is. So there we have this piece which could be repurposed into a necklace or for any other purpose. This piece, which could be repurposed into almost anything as well. This knot can go in the bin. And then we are going to undo the second part. And this is also going to give us some holes for our strings to go through, or our lasses to go through. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch an additional hole in the middle of here using my big bite but if you had a proper dial or an awl or some kind of hole punch or even a leather punch. So I'm going to put this in the smallest hole which is the one eighth of an inch so it's that middle one there and I'm going to I'm going, to, I'm going to mark it and then I know I've got more or less in the middle somewhere about there should probably measure it but hey ho and then I'm going to sit to the side of it just to make sure that I've got it more or less where I want it Yeah. 
think that looks good. Yeah. Happy days. Open them. I don't know how well you can see that, but they actually come like this. They are very curved, which is fine, but when you put them on the front of here, it's going to sit very curved, and I don't want that. So I had a little go at bending one out by hand, which flattened, but not perfectly. It's not greatly straight. You can easily bend them, um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to put it into my little vice thing that I made a while ago. Um, this little wooden jig thing that I made and I'm just gonna hammer it flat so I hammered it more or less flat and then I just use my thumbs to try and bend it a little bit because I don't want it to be completely flat because that thread is gonna sit through there and I don't want it to sit completely flush it's also going to sit approximately here so it's going to cover the S up a little bit but I'm okay with that Okay, so before we move too far along with this project, I have some, um, what are these? What were those? Rivets. <laughs> some, oh, it's going to be a long day. I have some rivet setters. Um, I could use this. It does have a function for this where you can change the little thingy. But last time, I actually broke one of those doing that. So I bought some proper tools to be able to do this. So back on the floor we go. So from here you can see my very technical jig thing that I made. Um, I actually made it for um, hand drilling small pieces of resin jewellery. So I can put the resin jewellery in there and then push it up and secure it in place. There was another piece of wood that fit in here. Um, but basically so I could just push it up and hold it so I don't have to get my fingers in where the drill is. And then be able to drill it. And that's what I made this for. So all I did was I literally put the metal piece underneath this wooden piece and I held it all down and just smacked it with a hammer and the eyelet setters come with you get a bunch of these tools which are what you're going to use to set your eyelet depending on the, the why do I keep calling it an eyelet a rivet you're going to use these tools to set your rivet depending on what size your rivet is or what type it is and then you're going to use this which is like a doming side and the reason you're going to use this is just to protect your rivet because if you do it straight into the wood or well wood are probably indent but if you were doing it on a on a hard surface including wood i suppose um it will mash it out and it will no longer be a nice smooth looking thing so that's why we have this and i'm going to do it upside down so as not to damage the leather or pleather so literally you would put your other end of your rivet through, put this in whichever hole is um, the correct hole and then you will hit it from the other side. So that's what we're going to do but first of all I need to figure out which of my rivets I'm actually going to use for this particular project if we reattach it. You can also buy the, um, well not these particular ones because they're spikes. But these have like screw parts in them so you can screw them in and some more expensive planners actually come with um, screwed in ones so you would have been able to just unscrew these parts and then take it out um, take this bit out and then you would have been able to change the ring and then put different rings in and then screw them back in so we have a top which kind of looks like a mushroom and that's going to go on the outside and we have a bottom which looks like sort of a some some kind of piercing jewelry to be honest and then we are literally going to put this through here i'm going to put our cap on and they should be able to push together fairly easily and then you can set it in your doming tool and we want to figure out which piece we need 
with this. I think we'll use the smallest one. And give it a little tap. And then we need to, let's see if I could find a larger one. And that should set that in place. It's a bit meshed because this is me we're talking about. But we now have that nice, it's not going anywhere, eyelet on the other. Uh, stop calling it eyelet rivet on the other side, which just kind of finishes this off, this off. So I'm going to grab the same and do the same for the other side. I say they are just decoration but they are not going to come out so that's what they look like yeah, that's, in. that's fine so that's those two set in place as best as I can do it with my limited abilities and I'm very happy at that so then we can get on to considering stringing this up okay so you can kind of see how I mangled these on the inside but how pretty they look on the outside so I've I have happened to have have happened to have looked I happen to have looked in my craft supplies and I do actually have some black cord and um, black elastic sorry it's a much thicker size than what I'm going to be using to string my book up with. However, for this centerpiece, I can probably use this. So I literally took the cord that was in it. You can see, still brown on this end. And I inked it up on all four sides to be more or less black. So in this particular case, what I've done is I've added this ball chain and I added a couple of charms and this is me we're talking about so I can just go make jewellery, go make charms with the billions of charms and beads and jewellery making stuff that I have. So uh, I added this supposedly black Swarovski crystal. Um, I don't mark it or I wouldn't sell these as Swarovski crystals because I just wouldn't. So I have this little black um, bead that I added onto here that I turned into a charm. This little witch on a broom because I'm a witch and a pagan and blah 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 blah. And also this camera because I wanted this to be about the journey and about um, taking pictures and documenting and all that kind of stuff. But I have, it looks like there should be something in here and I do have some of these black um, crystally sticky crystals so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glossy accents in the camera hole you probably can't even see what I'm talking about but that camera hole there and then I'm going to put that in the hole but I'm going to glue it in with some glossy accents I'm going to put some glossy accents into here. Then I'm going to find that rhinestone. Okay, Melody, so I literally just went to stop the recording for this and then realized that what I've actually done is not hit the record button. So I don't have me stringing the two millimeter um, elastic through this part and this part and then obviously through into the inside, which what I've done is I have 
strung it like this and I'm hoping you, you can see um, and I've tied a knot here and so I've ended up with four elastics and then what I also did was I took one of these A6 size sticky pockets so they're adhesive on the back and then they're a pocket and I basically cut about half an inch or maybe just over half an inch um, off of this side and then I stuck it down and I cut it a little bit here at the bottom as well so basically I have a pocket in the front so I can put like stickers in there or um, what else can I put there a project life card or anything that I want to put in this front and it has got some adhesive on here that I'm gonna have to wipe off but basically I was gonna I set this up um, I realized that if you watch me on Instagram I made these two things or I have a video on how I made um, this customized stamped acetate and basically I realized that I've actually made them too long so I had to cut them down a little bit but this one I'm going to put in the back and I have actually ordered a zipper pouch and I'm going to sandwich that between this acetate once it comes so I cut some holes into this I punched some holes and then cut it a little bit so that it can sit in the back nicely like this and I said once that those zip pockets come I'm going to put them in there then I have the school book that I made and I basically took the craft paper and I joined it with washi tape and then I made it into a book so on my next elastic um, I also cut out some little snippets at the top and at the bottom so that it can sit in the elastic quite easily. Then I've made a few more books. I made this one which is going to be a scrapbook of me and my sister. I've also bought a stamp that says once upon a time and I'm going to stamp that at the top when it comes. So it's going to say once upon a time a tale of two sisters. And then I also have made using the same um, it's the Once Upon a Time DCWV, like really old, original 8x8s. Um, so I also used the potions paper and used grey paper on the inside of that. And then I also used the like the uh, treasure map one and I just used plain white print paper on the inside of that. So I've strung them two together with an elastic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one in first. That I've just used regular black um, crafting paper and I'm going to take that next elastic and I'm just going to sandwich that in there again I made two little sort of indents at the bottom so the elastic can sit in it nicely then I'm going to sandwich that book between these two books she says try to do it on camera this so this is going to sit behind that elastic so then I have got my uh, thing that I'm going to have with my zip pouch in the back I then have this travelers and travels gym little book that I made with the craft paper I then have this one with the plain white paper that's going to be like a sketchbook of sorts I think this one which is going to be my me and my sister scrapbook and then this one which is going to be my personal scrapbook and then I have this elastic in the front and I actually bought a 2018 to 19 um, week on two which I am considering using to journal in and what I did with this because I don't want to permanently fix it into the book I just found the center like you would do with the other books and I just dropped that in the front of there and then I grabbed this clip that has the skull on it and I just clipped that together, she says, again, like that. And then I can grab my Pilot G207 and that can sit in that space right there. Alternatively, I also bought some of these faux Loistrum uh, adhesive squares. They're from AliExpress and they're about £1.50, I think it was, for four and so that's going to sit in the front like that so then I can put whatever I want in here and I might put some washi on top of there because I keep grabbing that back part or I might cut it into like a 
a triangle or something actually. So then all I do is I wrap the outside around, wrap the front side around, grab my elastic and wrap it over the two. And that is how that is looking. And I'm so pleased with it. I probably have room to grow. I'd have more room if I took that um, planner thing at the front, but I haven't yet decided 100%. But yeah, so that is how my altered planner actually turned out in the end. So I'm super happy, super excited um, for my custom personalized traveler's notebook. And as said, I made all the inserts myself and I am gonna probably decorate the fronts of the ones that I haven't yet decorated. So I will think of titles to stamp on the front. Again, as said, I'm not entirely 100% sure if I'm gonna keep this in here or not. And then I've got some pouches coming for it in the back. And I could cut this down and stick that in there if I wanted to have an additional pouch for stickers or something in the back. So yeah, so that's just how that turned out. And I'm really pleased with it. I probably have enough room to get another pen in there as well if I want. And yeah. So that is my faux hybrid traveler's notebook thing. And of course it says not all who wonder are lost. And then again, as I said, there's chance before. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, sorry this has been another long video. And uh, yeah, before I go, I should probably mention that I did get my elastic on eBay UK and I got it from Charming Designs, Design DNA, Charming Design DNA was where I got it from. And this is the two millimeter and I bought like five meters of it. And I did actually buy some one millimeter from them as well, but it was just far too thin. This feels a little thick, but apparently it's about the size that Traveler's Notebooks is. Um, so yeah, subscribe.